From near-death car crashes to gambling and match-fixing, the often tragic stories of badminton players who had their careers cut short are the focus of this video. There are countless talents who were destined for greatness but ultimately lost their careers, simply because they became victims of bad luck. Kento Momoda In an unhappy chapter of his Olympic career, the 27-year-old Japanese badminton player Momoda Kento fell from grace when he admitted to gambling in an illegal casino with a fellow player Kenichi Tago in April 2016. He was kicked out of his team, an absolute eye-opening event for him. He returned in 2018 and tried hard to make up for his lost time. From onward, he was unstoppable and untouchable. He grabbed a record-breaking 11 titles in 2019. History is made. Kencho Momota takes the All England title. Was named the BWF's Player of the Year and mathematically qualified for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games based on the points he amassed. In January 2020, hours after he won the Malaysia Masters, a career threatening car crash pulled him down from the top of his career. The driver got killed in this car wreck. But Momoda was lucky enough not to suffer the same fate. He had double vision and needed immediate surgery on his broken right eye socket. He made a comeback at Tokyo 2020 in 2021, but he was never the same. His form has been mixed since his Tokyo heartbreak. Again, his hope of returning to the international competition was dashed when he tested positive for corona at the airport, as his team was about to leave for the Thailand Open. Recently, he retired injured in the French Open, before finally making a breakthrough in the Indonesia Masters. And when he was hoping to be the Man of Steel again in his World Tour Finals in Bali, sadly, he pulled out of the World Championship after sustaining a back injury. After the gambling scandal, his fans were happy that he didn't end up quitting badminton like Kenny Chitago, not knowing he had to face some other health-related challenges. Well, we're still hopeful for his strong comeback. Kenichi Tago Unlike Momoda Kento, his partner in crime and former number three, Kenichi Tago, was an embrace back into badminton. The suspension of Momoda was lifted in 2017, but Tago had to pay for his gambling scandal for four and a half years. He finally saw his suspension lifted in 2020. After getting banned, Tago moved to Malaysia in 2017 to start a new life. He started serving as a coach and player at the Pedaling Badminton Club. In April 2019, he started a badminton academy called Tago Academy. Tago played a crucial role in helping Japan win its first Thomas Cup in 2014. He defeated Chev Long and clean sweep China by 3-0 to set up the final encounter with Malaysia. Tago moved to Malaysia knowing that it would be difficult for him to get a job in Japan due to his bad reputation. He wanted to stay linked to badminton in some way. Like when he said, I like Malaysia. It gave me a chance to bounce back. Zulfadli Zulkifli A once rapidly rising Malaysian shuttler and former world junior champion, Zulfadli Zulkifli got banned from competing in badminton for 20 years in 2018. Zulfadli made a buzz in badminton highlights when he defeated the GOAT Victor Axelsson in the finals of 2011 BWF World Junior Championship. Later, this scandal put a dent in his rapidly booming career. He and his compatriot, Tan Chung Xiang, were found guilty of being engaged in corruption for a long time. Tan got banned for 15 years for his involvement in this fiasco. They committed multiple breaches of the BWF Code of Conduct in relation to betting, wagering, and irregular match results in multiple tournaments between 2013 and 2016. Zulkifli manipulated the results of four matches and committed 31 violations during his career. This scandal also led to a fine of a whooping $25,000. At the same time, Tan violated the code on 26 occasions and was charged a fine of $15,000. Unfortunately, Zulfadli didn't really get the chance to hit the peak and make his mark. But as the action is, so is the result. In 2019, they lost their appeals to the court for support against their career-ending bans for match-fixing and had to pay the price for their wrongdoings. Shuei Song Diehard fans of Shuei Song still claim that if he hadn't torn his lateral meniscus in the second game of the 2016 India Open Championship semifinals, he could be battling it out with Axelsson. He was stretched out of the game due to his injuries and later had to give up on the game. Though he recovered from this injury and returned to the competition, 
he was never the same due to frequent injuries later on. He had to take continuous breaks between plays, for which he says, athleticism in competitive sports is just like blowing up a balloon. You can only blow up a balloon by blowing it continuously. If it is always intermittent, the balloon will never blow up. Shuei Song decided to retire on the first day of 2021. After dealing with a series of injuries, with meniscus damage on top, now he will be continuing to engage in badminton-related work as a teacher at Shenzhen University. Even today, when I recall that explosive performance of his career in the All England Championship of 2016, it gives me goosebumps. Shuei Song met Chen Long in this game. Everyone thought there was no suspense, but the outcome ended up being surprising. Shuei Song won 21 to 19 and 21 to 17. While everyone was still discussing whether Chen Long had handed the ball, Shui defeated Victor Axelson in the quarterfinals, and it felt like an actual Dragon Slayer fighting the battle. Though he lost to Lin Dan in the semifinals, he got his fair share of praise and set new hope. Go Jinwei. Go Jinwei was a renowned name in the badminton world and arguably the best junior player of this generation. Malaysia-based women's singles shuttler won the 2015 and 2018 BWF World Junior Championships and the girls' singles title at the Youth Olympics of 2018. Jinwei entered Malaysia's national team at the age of 14 and had a fantastic career spanning seven years. In September 2021, she dropped a bombshell by announcing her retirement. In a 7-minute video posted on YouTube, the 21-year-old stated that she was calling it quits due to her prolonged health condition. Jinwei underwent a colectomy in 2019, in which a part of her colon was removed due to a stomach ailment. Things have just never looked the same since then for the prodigy who was once touted to be the next big thing in Malaysian women's singles. After the surgery, Jinwei was constantly on medications and the doses were getting stronger daily, which definitely affected her physical ability and training strength. Apparently, fans thought she would disappear from badminton after the retirement news, but that wasn't the case. Things took a dramatic turn when Jinwei posted another video on her YouTube channel in January 2022 to question BAM's decision to ban her from entering international tournaments for two years. That was definitely another bombshell for the fans. She expressed her frustration and said that the association had no issues with her retirement. But this decision has really put a full stop to her career. The speculation is that she, along with the Malaysian top badminton player, Li Zizha, got banned from expressing their desire to go independently and go play on their own terms and conditions. Though Li Zizha is planning for his future, Jinwei decided to plead her case via YouTube. Fans of Jinwei consider this ban an unfair decision and really hope to see her reach her true potential. Who would you add to the list of lost talents in badminton?